السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين The existential question of creation is one of the central themes of Quran. Quran is consistent about associating creation with purpose. Let us take this prototype example. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created jinn and the humankind but to worship me. Quran asserts that there is no creation without purpose. Although we were not present as witnesses to our own creation or the creation of heavens and earth, ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم Quran is unique in asking us to explore and systematically find how Allah started his creation قل سيروا في الأرض فانظروا كيف بدأ الخلق In Surah At-Tur we read in verse number 35 Another related question about the creation, but in a rhetorical manner. أَمْ خُلِقُوا مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْءٍ أَمْ هُمُ الْخَالِقُونَ Have they been created from nothing? Or have they, were, or were they their own creators? The presence of the human being on this earth constitutes only a small fraction of the 4.5 billion years the age of the earth and even a smaller fraction of the 13.8 billion years the age of the universe. Therefore creation is a continuum. We did not create ourselves and we were not created from nothing. We are the product of a very long process of creation. Yes, we are given an advanced position in this existence, but this does not make us better than other creatures, but make us responsible to take care of everything that preceded us, animals, plants, and other creatures, including the inanimate environment. The whole creation is moving, is moving by the recurrence and succession of life and death. يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ The destination of this movement is another new creation, خلق جديد, or another bigger Life with bigger purpose. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ If this life is hayat, the life of the hereafter is bigger and everlasting. It's an amplified life, hayawan. Now we can go full circle. The purpose we associate with every existing thing or soul must lead us to Allah, the Creator. We beg His forgiveness if something different happens to cross our minds. Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila subhanak. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. والحمد لله رب العالمين